right, hello and um, welcome to this week's angling blog. Um, you join me on a, another day off work. I said on the last one you were rare days, but this is the the second day in October that I've taken off to go fishing. Um, pike are the species again today. Um, we're after. I've got two rods out so far. I've got one on a float, um, pencil float, and I've got one on a um, ledger. Um, one's fishing um, a skimmer on the bottom. And the other one is um, a herring on the other rod. It's a really fantastic day for pike fishing. It is overcast and damp. And we've had a bit of drizzle this morning. Um, it's dead. It's still. The the leaves around have got all the autumn colours about them, and it's a proper, proper awesome day to go piking. Overcast and it's good conditions to go. So yeah, fingers crossed for the pike. Right, as you just seen there, first one of the morning under my feet, a nice eight pound pike to start the day. I like all fish, beautiful colours and a lovely, lovely pike to start any session. Got a couple of marks on this side that might mean there's a better girl in the area. But yeah, as days off work go, you don't start much better than that. Nice early fish. Let's get this girl in the margin to rest and yeah, hopefully first of many. Just resting at other fish in the margin and the um, ledger rod just pulled off and yeah <laughs> nice 13 I think she was just under 14 pound I can't remember <laughs> and I'll have to look on the pictures it was definitely around 13 14 pound pike coming on a, a ledgered um, skimmer and she didn't half go off and like we've all nice fish my arm was aching when I struck into her a lovely fish and like we've all river fish she's got some lovely markings pristine condition and yeah when she gets to be 20 pound she'll be some fish I say she's in absolutely immaculate condition a fantastic example of the species and I think I might be putting the lottery on tonight because with the pike fishing this year my luck is definitely in it seems to be everywhere I'm casting a rod the bait's going it won't last forever just got to enjoy it while it lasts and let's get this beautiful fish back right there they are both resting in the margin and like I say Starts to a day don't come much better than that. Fantastic start to the day. 
and plenty to go. Give them a good rest, they deserve it before they both go back. Right, you'll have to ignore me, I'm all, all hot and bothered today. <laughs> I'm hot and bothered with fish. It's a fantastic reason to be hot and bothered. There's the first one, eight pounds. They've been resting for a while now, so ready to go back. Back she goes. And then there's, I think it's my fifth double of the season. And I can feel her tensing in my arm. So she's more than ready to go back as well. So why don't we oblige her? Right you go girl. Beautiful fish. The reason why we all come, and off she goes. Fantastic. Yeah, fantastic. Is a way to sum that up. Right, so in the last video, I forgot to run over my ledger setup. It is probably the simplest, simplest way of pike fishing in its setup, but probably one of the hardest to do because obviously you've got no visual flow as when to strike. So the setup is, as I say, you've got a Fox low resistance run ring on the line to a quick, you know, like to a two and a half ounce lead two beads that aids separation on the cast so it, it can't tangle a buffer bead a swivel and then my normal wire trace down to a, your hook the idea being that that sits on the bottom like that and the lead stays in place and when you get a bite the pike pulls the line and doesn't feel any resistance you set this up a bit like carp fishing on a on a bite alarm and the indication you get is that as the line goes through the alarm Unlike carp fishing, you have a bite indicator as well that goes on the back rest. There's many versions of these, different versions. Some alarms fit on the back. And what this does is it holds your line in situ, tight, and then when you get, if the pike comes towards you, it pulls the line for the run coming towards you. And if it pulls out, it pulls out the clip. And one of the most exciting things in fishing is hearing that bite on, on pike fishing, is hearing that bite on the alarm and seeing that drop. So yeah, that is the ledger setup that I use for me pike fishing. Right. And the day just got even better. Gary's just picked up a nice six pound pike. Look at the lovely colours on it. Well done mate, how did you catch it? A small roach in the edge and a float. Nice, nice going matey. Well done, get this fish back. All right, and there she goes, straight down to the bottom. Like a submarine. <laughs> Right, so the rod's just gone again. A little tiny little pike this time. I say this guy is in trouble because either of the ones, either of the pike we've caught today, this is a meal. But yeah, let's get him in the net and take a look at the little guy. Right, as you just seen there, tiny, <laughs> tiny little jack, but perfectly formed. And again, like I said on the video, this little guy, well, he's in trouble at the moment. Any of the pike we've caught today could potentially see him as a meal. I'm amazed we're not catching a few more pike with marks on them. Um, yeah, he needs to watch his step. Let's say Gaddy's brought his um, little whip with him today. So every now and again, try and catch a few small live baits. Oh, and this come on a small little roach. Um, yeah. Lovely little example of a species, and like I say, beautiful colours beautiful colours in this time time of year when autumn's still here and winter's not arrived let's get this beautiful little fish back to become one of the big fish of the river let's get it back right let's say when the seagulls get start circling when you're a pike you know you're the small one rest them no matter what big or small they all need the respect they deserve you know they put up a lovely fight and they deserve 
you know, due care and attention they, they need. This guy's been in the net, resting for a bit, and it's time to go back. See you again, mate. Yeah, Gary's been on the pole for a bit and he's been catching a few small little roach about, about that big. Um, bringing one of the rods in, just putting that rod out. You're always going to get small jacks, but and this is probably the ugliest pike I've ever caught. It's got a face like Daffy Duck <laughs> crossed with Jordan. <laughs> but yeah, a face only a mother could love. But yeah, he ain't going to be pretty when he gets, if he gets to be a nice pike. It'd be one ugly pike, but yeah, they're all beautiful in their own little way, aren't they? I guess, but yeah, fourth, you know, fourth fish of the morning. I'd say this one's probably about four or five pound, maybe, um, and a push, but yeah, fantastic day off work, and conditions are bang on today. I say, Gabby's been talking about doing a bit of lure fishing this afternoon, which. You know, I'm more than happy doing. I've never really done much, so we'll give it a go. But yeah, it's a beautiful, <laughs> done a beautiful pike. But we'll get this guy back. And you all probably know now who's watching the videos what I'm going to say. You've got to rest them big, small, beautiful, and ugly. And who knows, one day this ugly duckling might turn out to be the swan of the pike world. But I highly doubt it. <laughs> Back you go, little man. Stay safe. Right, it's been, been a manic morning, hasn't it? Come, you know, you can't beat. Day off work, four pikes so far. Um, the first, well, second brew of the morning. I had a brew after I caught them two undead. And yeah, I'm just going to sit back, chill out for a bit, and enjoy my day off work. It's supposed to be relaxing this. I, I feel like I've not stopped. Right, it's absolutely bucking it down and the um, pencil float's just gone off and this lovely eight pound pike, the culprit and I say a lot, they've been, they are eating well, they're feeding well, they like the cap there, so they've got full bellies, you can see they're eating well, they're solid fish, if you look down the barrel of it like that, it's solid across the shoulders, you know, beautiful pike with beautiful colours and a set of gnashes to match. But I won't keep it out too long because I want to get back underneath the brolly and I'm sure this beautiful girl wants to get back. Right, sorry there was no footage of the take and that, but it really is bucketing and down. Um, this guy's had a good rest in the net now. Time to go back. Right, we're just into the afternoon now and as you've seen from the last shots, it's persisting down. Um, and it's not stopped for about an hour and a half, two hours now. The plan was to go and have a go on lures this afternoon. I was really looking forward to it, but I think we're just going to, you know, sit it out and see if anything comes on the deads. Um, it's been quiet since that, that early manic start, and that's what this place can be like sometimes. It's, it's all or nothing, and that's why it can be a venue that's quite hard to choose to come to, because some days it's nothing, and then other days, 
on the good days it never really has runs all day it's a bit here and then you'll have a, a number of runs all together then a period of quiet so yeah just going through a bit of period of quiet the kettle's been on pot noodles gone and hopefully there's one more fish left between us before we call it a day right so it's about as grim as it gets it's not stopped raining for about three hours easily three or four hours since about 11 o'clock um we stuck underneath the brolly went out to get that eight that eight pounder and i must admit i left the phone behind i was that uneager to get out and, and hit it um yeah it's been a terrible day it's been good conditions overcast and gray just wanted that rain to stay off a bit and i think the lack of wind is the reason why the wind's completely gone from the last couple of days and with it the rain comes so yeah just sitting back now and, and hoping that the rain stops really and we, we get one more run before we we call it a day but yeah a proper miserable day on the bank weather wise it's been it's been terrible <laughs> 